You're standing in the Submarine Life Support Research, Development and Test Facility here. In Philadelphia we have one of every piece of equipment in the life support suite that we use on submarines just to, to treat and maintain that air. So we've got, got our CO2 removal, our oxygen generation, our monitoring and our, our burners for trace uh, contaminants as well. Having all of these systems here together means that we can test them individually, we can test them and how they interoperate with each other. We can also do some, some new testing. We have several extra test stands set up to test monitors, to test new catalysts, new sorbents. Really try to keep up uh, and keep the submarine fleet you know, as, as modern and uh, as up with technology as we can. This is uh, the ACRU. It's the primary and only uh, CO2 removal system on a submarine. It replaces our old 1950s era technology, so we've really modernized it and automated. Um, it actually uses this nanomaterial called SAMS. It's highly porous and has a very high surface area. One teaspoon of this has about as much surface area as a football field, and it's that, that area that allows us to grab onto the CO2 and then release it later. So with that increased capacity, we have about 40% more CO2 removal in the same footprint. So it's a very important piece of equipment, one of the main components of life support, and without it, we can't go to sea. So the ACRU test right now, it combines two of our groups, our research and our in-service group. I'm with the in-service group and, and we're working with our research guys as we are almost completed with our design and we're moving towards qualification testing. So that qualification testing will put this, this ACRU through every test and every condition that we expect to see. So we'll, we'll do temperature testing, we'll do shock testing, vibration testing, and just make sure that the ACRU is, is truly ready for in-service use. Once we pass that qualification testing, we're gonna, we're gonna start installing ACRUs on submarines.